This is the new project. You see it? You see it? Huh? Looks good for my house. Welcome back to another Ghetto Garage video. And this week, we're gonna be painting the frame and probably doing some more tearing down on the front of the motor. I'm gonna go pull stuff off of it. But the main thing in this video, that's like a frog. I wanna get the frame painted and the firewall painted, uh, get a bunch of more clutter off this motor like the smog and the uh, charcoal canister. The line that runs the tank, pulling it off. Don't need it, I don't want it on this truck. Uh, but first things first, we gotta fix my clown head. So let me show you what's going on with it. Uh, he's about three years old, so he's got some tearing on him, and I wanna fix that the best that I can. Like his head's starting to come loose too, but they don't do well in the sun, you guys, at all. I got some really tough glue over there my dad gave me a while back. I'm gonna try to use it on his face and see how it does. You can see right here how bad it really is. It's like a trash bag in there. I'm um, gonna find somewhere on the the table I can do this at. So don't really have much work area out here right now at the moment. Um, I honestly, I think I might just do it on the tailgate. Let's do that. Let's open the gurge. It's hot in here anyways. Fix it on the tailgate. Here it is right here. And this stuff is some strong, strong stuff. It's for carpet. We're gonna try to use it though. This is actually the stuff we used in the brown van, if you guys remember, and I'll show you real quick. It's what we used to put the carpet on the walls. Right now it's full of baby stuff. For of you, all of you that don't know, I have another kid on the way. So it'll be number three for me. And yes, they're all by the same woman. I love my woman. <laughs> uh, we're having three kids and it's another boy. So three boys. But ignore the baby stuff. That's not the purpose of this video. But it's what's holding on all the carpet. They do got staples in it, for, but, but there is glue smear on a lot of this stuff. Up on the, the engine bay right here, it's on there. But it holds up pretty, pretty well. If you guys don't remember this van or you want to see videos of it, just go back to my recent or older videos and you can see a lot of it i didn't really record like i should have i mean to doing everything i wish i really did but that's whenever i was just starting on the youtubes i really don't know if this is gonna work or not but we're gonna give it a try got some more dollar store brushes because i don't remember if i had any extra when we painted last time Still, look at that. It may eat this stuff, so I gotta be careful. It's some gooey, gooey, gooey stuff. The mess. And it stinks so bad. Freaking gum. Trying to pull the bag out. Oh yeah, it's sticking good. Should have put some gloves on, man. I got some gloves now, so now we can start going in the right direction. Ugh. Let's keep gumming them up. 
That's what makes Halloween cool, man. It doesn't have to look good. I do want to rub some across this his head so this stops too this stuff's a stringy stringy mess There we go. I can live with that. We're gonna calm down. I can live with that for now. I mean, it's not perfect, but it's not bad either. Let's get back to the truck. Now, I've already went over this with a wire wheel, like you see in the last video. That's what we ended off at. Um, did it pretty well. Got it pretty good. I scuffed the firewall, blew it off. So what we're gonna do is firewall black frame front rails black cross member black and the top up here will be blue so we're gonna get straight into it dump some paint and we're gonna start spreading some paint around i showed you guys this stuff before i like this stuff a lot we're gonna use this and i hope that that's enough to do everything because we're also gonna do the back of the bed too where we didn't finish it one more cup here Screwdriver? Got a screwdriver, don't worry. This can't get open for us. There it goes. Dump all this in here. There's still some down in there in the bottom, so I'm gonna get in here and mix it up, try to get it out. Mix this up, throw some gloves on, start painting. It's good enough for me. I did not tape anything off because I'm going to try not to get paint on anything that I don't want paint on. So that means we got to be careful. I'm starting to realize we probably should have got some more paint we can. Well, that's all the paint we got. So we're gonna have to get some more because we still gotta finish up a bunch of stuff, go over, apply one more coat. So everything is nice and covered. 
but I think it looks pretty darn sweet. I think I'm gonna go ahead and pull the transmission too so I can lay up underneath there and paint all that underneath. So that's gonna be fun. Well, while we wait for more paint, because I won't be able to get any for Monday, I'm gonna go ahead and start back taping off of this whole edge here. Hopefully that it does not peel so we can paint the top part. For those of you that don't know what a back tape is, I'm gonna show you. Ooh, caught a scratch me. Okay, you put half, half of the tape, half of your tape on the edge. Let's see if it's gonna peel first. No, it looks like it's gonna be just fine. And your back tape is, literally, you put a piece of tape on the tape. If it makes any sense. It's not hard. And then you pull it back. And you have a little lip, just a little lip, on your edge. And a little lip, like I'm talking about, is just enough to hang over by maybe like a quarter of an inch. I mean, not by much, but enough, you know. And you want to do this the entire way down, the whole way. And whenever you guys paint this, for nobody knows anything about this stuff, when you paint this and you pull this masking off, you will not see a hard line. This will leave a soft, soft edge. You may be able to see a color difference, but I honestly don't think you will because whenever the hood shut, I never noticed this inside of here. So I just want to paint this. And I would, we may have paint it, paint it black or blue like the other stuff and then lightly coat it so this... It'll probably, probably match us pretty well. But you'll see in the end what I mean by this. So we're going to continue to back tape this the entire length down. And then we'll probably find somewhere to break it off. Which I already see where I'm going to break it off. And I'll show you that when we get to that point. Some of that tech advice from your pro painter Charlie over here. And I am not a pro. That was definitely sarcasm. Not a problem by any means. I know enough to get me by. There's plenty of people better than me out there. I know that for sure. This may have to take a couple shots on tape because it's a wider bend or a more of a bend than flat. So I probably could have used a bunch of pieces and ripped them up, but we're not going to do that. We'll just keep pulling this back until I'm satisfied. There we go. So we need more of a Tape right there, you can see. There you go. I'm gonna call that one good. Now, where we're taping it is gonna be, huh? Yeah, I guess I will go ahead and. Do the whole thing right here. Just so that it all matches, you know. This is also called a back taping. Man, I want to stick to this solid well, which is looking like it's not going to. Gotta push harder to stick. There you go. Make sure I do this curve a little different on this side. Come on, tape. Quit playing with me. That's a lot to do here. Yeah, 
I pulled a little too much right here in the middle. This is all paint really is. You're just trying to get your... That's what masking is about, really. Just want to get your tape perfect as possible, even if you have to use a bunch. Yeah, I'm sure somebody could use this a lot cleaner than I do, but... When you're not a professional, and you're just now learning, this is how you're going to tape it up. I'm, show, I'm only showing you guys these cheap ways and stuff like that, so you guys ain't afraid to start this stuff yourself. You probably can't even see me from the angle that I'm in, but... I'm showing you in real time that this stuff's possible. You don't have to be no professional. You ain't gotta be scared to just try, man. You know? Just get out there and do it. That's all you gotta do. By the time we sand all this, scuff it up, and get these, some of the stuff feathered out, this will actually look pretty good on top when you open that hood, you know? It's gonna look really nice. With all new fresh paint inside the engine bay, all new fresh, everything just nice and buttoned up, so everything looks pretty decent. That's my goal, anyways. And I got some paper over here. I think it's like a um, three inch, four or five inch paper, something like that. Heck, it might be six inch. I don't know. We're gonna run it all the way with the length of that uh, cow panel up there. I do not have a razor blade. Like it would at work. And run that through right, right there. You probably can't see. Oh, you can see. Wow, you got a got a wide angle. Tape it. Do not be scared of some paintwork. Really not that bad. And you don't have to use as much tape as I do either. Tape's cheap. You're gonna use a bunch of over here to paint stuff. I may go ahead and run another one just along this. Because I have the paper, why not use it? That's what I was afraid of. I tried, didn't I? That's alright. We drop stuff around here. We'll pick it up and fix it. So you don't harm the foul. Like up a little bit. Just a little bit. All I need is just a little bit. Something like that, isn't it? Isn't that the song that's boom, drop it like it's hot, drop it like it's hot? Isn't that that song? I can't remember. It's been a while since I've heard either one of them. I'll not be surprised if this peeled some of the paint off the truck when I pull all this tape off. That's the price I'm willing to pay. Oh, missed a piece. Now I'll throw this piece of tape here. It's tied over by this box. I can get my finger back here to press down. We got dope. Also, something that I use a lot is uh, aluminum foil. Believe it or not, aluminum foil is perfect for taping up stuff, like wires and stuff like that. You got like the the uh, break booster over there, you got something like that, you don't want to put paper around, grab a bunch of aluminum foil and fold it around whatever you're putting to try to tape up. It may take a couple pieces, but it is so much faster and more efficient 
than trying to wrap paper around something that's bulky and, you know, and pokes through easily because aluminum foil is a little bit more stout. Aluminum foil helps out a lot. I think I'm going to get a pre... I had a piece of cardboard to lay on this. I'm not too worried about the middle because overspray, I don't think it's going to fall that far. All right, I got this thing out the trash from the kitty litter from all the gas that we spilled. We're going to use that. I'm getting underneath here ever so slowly. There you go. That's literally perfect. Big it looks much better than that. Yeah, that's absolutely perfect. That'll work. That will work. Ain't too worried about this over here. They can hang like that. Man, I'm just going to one piece for now. Yeah, I think that's a little better. Just if there's a chance of overspray getting down here, it doesn't happen. I'm over there acting like it's like a show truck or something. Get over and everything. What does it matter? Next out the trash bin is some of this stuff. I hoping this will be big enough to go over this. I don't, we shouldn't even have over so nowhere near this. We'll just do that for now. Do not want a bunch of blue overspray or anything. Paper stick, please. I don't think I need any paper. Yeah, whatever. Paper is also very, very cheap. I'm on one piece right here. And that should be actually plenty. Shouldn't need no more than that. Perfect. I think we're good. I think we're good. I'll paint your truck for half the price because I'm going to use half the tape and all the paper. I'm over here taping this thing up like it really matters. You know, the overspray gets on it. Who cares? Look at the truck. This is going to be one of them 15 footers. Getting closer to 15 foot, you start seeing things that don't look so right. Look at that pristine Ford coming at us. It's probably about three blocks away. Now that it's getting closer, oh man, that thing ain't looking so good. Yep, that thing should not be on the road. Oh my God. That's the kind of stuff we're building around here. All right, that was a little uh, stupid clip I thought of right there. Pretty smart, pretty genius. Uh, anyways, we're gonna get this taped up the rest of the way in the morning. I don't, I don't know how much more in depth we're gonna go, but we're definitely gonna get it painted for sure tomorrow. Nothing's gonna stop us. At least, unless I ain't got sandpaper. If I ain't got the right sandpaper, I'm not painting this. Because if the stuff ain't feathered out properly, it will look like crap. And I won't have this truck looking like crap. Heading back into the garage this morning. Haircut's looking like a... Like I got a bowl cut. Turn the lights on! This morning's agenda is to get this painted. As we taped up last night, we're going to come in here and do some little scuffy scuffing. Some sand, uh, whoa, sanding, sanding. Got starting spraying, spraying. I'm gonna check this cabinet and see if we have any 320 or 400. Cause that would be perfect for what I need to be sanding with. I got some 220. I think that put the finer grit towards the back. Yeah, that's some 320 right here. I can feel it. Let's see. Yep, 320. See it? You see it right there? Faintly see it, but it does say 320. Come over here and start scuffing. What we're going to do with the 320 is 
Just feather out a lot of the stuff. Won't take much because this paint's thin. I'm gonna get it where you don't feel them the fingers no more. Feels good to me. Try to get some of this feather out right here. I'm just gonna sand this whole thing with 320 just to give it a good scratch. Try not some of the stuff off. And the main point of feathering this stuff out is so it doesn't peel later. Which it should, it may end up peeling later on, but not immediately. If you paint all the stuff that's just peeling, what do you think it's gonna do? It's gonna keep peeling. So you wanna make sure you get as much scuffed off as you can. Looks like to me the paint's holding on pretty well right here around these little grommets. I'm gonna get this stuff feathered out on the sides. Need another piece of 320. I actually grabbed a piece of 220 this time. 220 is probably as uh, far as you want to go. It's coarseness because it scratches. So we won't go past 220. Let's get this last piece of blue off here. We should be good to start spraying. That's it. I think we're good to go. I really don't want to turn my compressor on, so we're gonna find something to get all the dust off. I'm pretty sure this has oil on it. So don't want to use that. Hmm. <laughs> I don't think I have any paper towels out here. Nice. Hook the air compressor up and blew it off. Saved you guys the the, uh, your ears because that thing is loud. I'm gonna grab the blue if I can find it. I just seen it here yesterday. Where are you at? Hmm. I just seen it. Is that it? That is it. Maximum rust protection. That's what we need. It's the one that leaks real bad. Great. Let me get a glove. Let me get some glovey glovies. All right. This thing is maximum coverage. It's leaking down my finger already. Hope the stuff looks good when it's all done. Oh yeah, that's gonna look nice. Nice! Oh yeah, the can's leaking pretty bad. I'm calling it. I think it looks good. It looks good to me anyways. Judge Ramsey, what do you think this looks like? I can tell you right now, it's gonna look like crap. You did it in like 40 seconds. It's not gonna look very good. Do you always have to be so hateful? I invite you over here thinking you're gonna be nice to me and you're just mean. I don't wanna show you this stuff anymore. Just get out. Please just get out of my garage. 
I don't like you anymore. If you're gonna cry about it, I guess I'll come take a look. Holy crap, you're such a baby. Wow. Let me get my trifocals on here. Wow. That looks good. Oh, oh, never mind. Terrible, 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 terrible. That looks terrible. Judge Ramsey's taking over this show. And we're gonna get this truck looking nice. What this truck needs is a little more redneck. What this world needs is a few more rednecks. I'm Judge Ramsey, and I approve this message. This truck looks terrible. All seriousness now, you guys. Doing a little silly little skit there. Don't really know what I was doing. So spots didn't get feathered out enough. Which I'm, I can live with that. Probably hit this with one more coat. Call it good. I mean, it looks pretty good now. I'm happy with that. It looks really good. We need to pull back this color or this tape right here and see how bad the color is. Yeah, you can't even see it. Look at that. That's pretty darn close. Lay that back down in case we put another coat on it. I like it. Looks pretty good. Looks a lot better than that rusty gray bare metal color it had on before. We're going to get back out here tonight and finish tearing down what we can off the block. I want to get the rest of the pulleys, the pumps, all the stuff off the alternator distributor. We're going to go ahead and rip all this crap off because we're going to start trying to get the paintwork done on the, on the block. And you can see where my overspray, overspray was laying. So it didn't get much on the second piece, which that's good because I barely got on the first piece. But down here, I did get some overspray on the bottom of this, but we're going to go over this wall, firewall, this frame. We're going to go over all this stuff again because I don't think it has very good coverage on it. But you can see on this where it started getting all dirty in the can, this stuff was starting to splatter everywhere. So if that wasn't there, it would be getting all over the firewall. Make it look worse. I should have took them clips out, but I don't know. We may end up getting the weather stripping back on this truck just to put something there. Man, it looks so much better. We gotta do something with underneath this hood. We're gonna have a nice painted radiator sport, painted fenders, fender liners, I guess you call these. This has to come off. I don't want the jack thing back in there. All that stuff needs to come off. Um, these hinges, I don't know. I guess we'll just spray paint them black. We'll, we'll paint, paint these on because I don't want to move the adjustment where they've already been. And then inside of these fenders, I probably will not do anything with. Probably just bolt the old dirty fenders back on. And the hood, underneath the hood, I may go ahead and do it black. I'm going to get a sawhorse in here. I have some wooden ones, but I don't want to put that big old hood on that wooden ones. That thing's heavy and them sawhorses are junk. Man, I can't stop looking at it. I'm happy. I'm happy with this. We'll go back out here in the, uh, tonight, most likely, and start wrenching on this so I can get these pulleys or these brackets all cleaned up. Because we're not going to be using any of this stuff besides the the other pulleys. You got to reuse this pulley. Got to reuse these pulleys. Um, there is a pulley on here that this pulley back here. I don't know what that is for. I guess that was for the smog pump that was over here. Well, it's not there anymore, so if we can get rid of some pulleys, we will. But if they won't, I guess we won't. This is getting replaced, because I'm not going to reuse that. Dirtiness. Look at in there. Look at that. That's just nasty. Distributor, I'm pretty sure we bent it, so we're going to get another distributor. Man, I don't want to... I hate when... I don't want to clean this block. I hate getting all that nastiness on you. It's going to be gross. Need some brake cleaner, some gloves, wire brush... We're going to ham on this thing and make a huge mess in the floor. We're back at it tonight. We're going to get this crap pulled off and start tearing down the rest of the front of this motor. Let's get right into it. Let's see about this beautiful masking job. Let's watch it peel all my paint off. Well, I actually don't see any tape coming off with it. Oh, my cam's right there. How silly of me. My dogs are out there barking, beating each other up. Don't worry about that. They love each other. 
Oh, there's a little bit of paint coming off. Gives it character. Come on, baby. Get in the trash. Get in the trash. Oh, yes. Look at that beautiful paint job. She's almost untaped. That does look really good, though. I like it a lot. Do I sound just like Jim Carrey? I like it a lot. I like you a lot. <laughs> it's okay, you guys. I know you're scared and intimidated by my amazingly good acting skills. That's why I get choked up almost every single night recording because <sighs> words are not my friend at all. They like to choke me up. And I am excited to tear this thing down. But first, I want to get the motor or something out of the way of my feet sees here because I don't want to be stepping in all this crap. I've got pictures of all this of how it goes back together, so I shouldn't have much issues putting it back together. I'm going to try to take everything off and label everything where it needs to go so we don't have any issues. Stuff like this. I don't I don't. I think I hold the coil on. Let's see if I can manhandle this block out of the way over here. I think what I'm going to take off first is this entire setup right here. I'm just going to bolt it from there. And I'm going to leave the bolts on everything because we're not going to mess with putting stuff back together or getting in detail. Like whenever it's ready to put this back on, as well, we'll go ahead and take the last bolts off and paint this thing. And make sure this stuff goes back together the way it needs to. I'm going to wear some gloves tonight, believe it or not, because I don't want dirty black hands in the morning. Oh, yeah. And we're going to guess that these are 14s and everything else is 14s because that's usually what the front of this thing has been. There's a 14. Oh, that's like magic. Give it that. Oh, don't start with me. Yeah. All right, got the freaking bolt out. Let's get back to work. That thing's heavy. Let's take the alternator. Wow, that's smaller than a 14. What? A 10? The bottom one's a 10. That's kind of crazy. Okay, maybe the bottom one's not a 10. All these random sizes on this thing. Pretty sure I just stripped the crap out of that, so let's see if my cheap strip thing will work. Oh boy. Let's try it again. Why are you doing this to me, dude? Okay, 
Yeah, they got one bolt to cooperate. Now we're just gonna get this last one out. That's gonna suck. About to do an auto. We're gonna grab the old trusty tiny ratchet and the fence post breaker bar. Please come off. I'm begging of you. Oh. Oh, we got lucky. We got lucky. That don't happen too often on this channel. We get lucky. Once every blue moon. Keep driving around here. Oh, Steve. Look at all that. She's crusty. I guess she'll hold on to the socket for a while. If I remember right, this is a 9 16 It's on Fords. But I could be wrong. There's a half inch. Let's see if it'll fit. Oh, I was wrong. It's half inch. Let's see if we got the magic touch. Ugh. She's in there pretty good. Maybe use a pry bar. A gentle pop. Oh man. She probably has never been moved in her life. Ugh. We're getting new distributors, so. Doesn't mean I want to destroy this one, though. Let's see if these are all half inch. That's not good. Oh, boy. Hopefully we can get the threads off that one later. Suppose that's why you don't use impacts, you guys. Ugh, can't get in there. Let's take this big old fat pulley off here. Maybe we'll be able to get in there. You gonna fight me too? Ain't no way this is all one piece. This massive pulley, no way. I guess it is. She's out of there. Everything wants to fight me. Ugh. I just want the water pump off. That's all I want. And the distributor. Why is it so much to ask for? <sighs> what to do? I guess we'll see how many more we can get off. Dang, that sucks. Can't get to it. I had a half inch wrench. Where'd it go? Where'd it go? Here it is. No, it's 7 sixteenths. Where did it go? I'm losing everything. What's going on? Here it is. I found it. One more right here. Well, I see one more in the back. Uh, 
Looks like we got this last one left. Oh, that probably wasn't the size. Oh, what size are you, dude? Don't do this to me. I guess we're gonna try to round it off with a 10. What else do we have to lose? We got a ratchet that isn't ratchet worth the crap. Yep. I won't hear the, oh my God, not again. Breaking out the dad socket. Oh. If dad can't fix it, no one can. That's right, baby. I get out of the box. This probably won't get it out. <laughs> not gonna lie to you. I don't know, we may have a fighting chance. We may get lucky after all. Oh boy. Will this Father's Day gift actually work? We're about to find out together. Please, 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 please. Oh, come on. Oh, God. What are we going to do? <laughs> I'm not playing games with you today. You're gonna come off this motor one way or another. Ugh. Oh my God. We have to beat the another socket on this thing because that's what's gonna have to happen here. That's not gonna work. It's gonna be real fun getting these off. Let's try this again. Come on. I'm about to just cut it off. I'm getting close to it. The only thing stopping me is this right here. Why? Why is everything gonna fight me on this thing? Man, yay, my luck. I'm gonna go ahead and pop the, what you call it off, fuel pump. Go ahead and knock it off so we can get something else off. I smell fuel. It's kind of crazy, you know, I'm taking fuel pump off and I smell fuel. Nice, nice. Nice. Came to the class decision that we're going to cut it off. But the motor needs to come over here because I don't have much slack. I've been out here cutting on it, and uh, I don't think we're going to be able to get this off until we get the pulleys off. Because this right, actually, believe it or not, look in there, as I turn this, the bolt spinning with the water pump pulley, or yeah, water pump pulley. If I get these other pulleys off, I'll spin the whole housing around and take the bolt out the block. Right now, we're going to try to get this bolt that snapped out the block. We're going to try it the fastest and easiest way first. God, I hope this works. I think I had enough problems with bolts snapped in the motor. Uh, I'm calling it a night. I'm sweating so bad out here. I'm gonna spray PB Blaster on this stuff and let it sit for a day or so and come back out here and try at it again. Get some PB Blaster down there. Oh, I forgot this can don't work. Oh, PB Blaster just ain't the stuff it used to be, man. Mm. What's going on in there, man? <clears throat> what a joke. This is literally useless. <sighs> I've been out here beating this thing with uh, this guy right here and my hammer. And she has finally decided she wants to come out and play. Nice. 
gears look all good even though we're not going to use this thing anyways oh you have really tested my patience tonight starting to get quite the abundance of parts over here but the main thing is i'm labeling all the bolts so you know it should go back together fairly quick that thing just should be tossed in the trash i'm getting a new battery tray all that stuff uh, you know it's basic stuff you know where that stuff goes i'm trying to record here Jeez, I forgot I had a harmonic balancer puller. So let's try to hook this thing up. What could possibly go wrong? You know, it's been so long since I've used this thing. I don't remember how to use it. I ain't gonna watch you guys. It's been quite some time. I think you thread. Well, something, something like that. Go this one. Let's go straight across because I'm pretty sure that's the way you're supposed to do it here. I don't know what I'm doing, what I'm thinking over here. Yeah, that's more like it. There we go. Please, mother of God, work. It worked! By golly, we did something right! Let's pull this thing out of here all the way. Get down here and pay attention. Clean this crap up and put it up. Keep on moving. Moving to the groove, and just when it hit me, Somebody turned around and said, nah, I ain't gonna say it. You guys know the lyrics. If you don't, I'm sorry you don't, because it's a great song. Let's see if we can ever get so lucky and get this thing off here. This thing's in the way. I don't think it comes off. Pretty sure it doesn't come off anyways. What the heck? It came all off. Oh, come on. You guys seen it here. She's coming off. Does that say 23 minutes? Holy crap. <clears throat> wow. Wow. That was incredible. It's crazy. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Will she unthread? Oh, she will. <laughs> Wow, that thing put up a fight. <sighs> nice. I'd like to get this cover off and the only bolt I see is this one. The way things are going. Oh man, I hope it comes right off. Oh, thank you. Is that it? Is that all I hold this on here? What this bearing right there? Bearing or uh, whatever you call it. Oh boy. She's got some slack in her. Look at that. 
I wish I could get this last bolt out. Whoa, where's the bolt that went here? Wait just a second. I don't remember taking that bolt off. What the heck? I know it hadn't had a bolt. I didn't take that off, did I? Hmm. I'll have to look at the water pump bag. That's very interesting because I don't remember taking this off at all. Oh yeah, I did. I'm a dummy. These bolts were on uh, that, that little thing goes right here. Oh, scared me for a minute. She's getting tore down. I, mean, I really had to do some cutting on this water pump. <laughs> Look at that. Literally, I cut off an entire chunk. You probably add up all the pieces. There's one. There's another. Huh. There's a couple others, the smaller pieces, but I had to do some chunks out of this. Wait, no, brother, come over. He said he's got something else to take, some other tool to get this thing off. And my dipstick, is, she's ready to come out. She's the Bluetooth version. So we'll get that out of here. Putting this thing back together is going to be quite interesting. I suppose I'll go ahead and take this off too before my brother gets here. And we'll probably put that back on. Well, I know we will. What size are you, little guy? What size are you? There you are. <laughs> you guys are probably in the comment section going crazy telling me not to use impacts, but here we are. It's freaking battery. Gross. All right. My brother came and helped me get the last bolt out. He just used a pair of ice grips. And then we uh, lit the thing up with a bunch of fuel and shot through the ports. Just trying to give it a little clean real quick. And I cleaned up this while we were sitting there talking to each other. Got that all nice and cleaned up. But not obviously, this is going to get a lot cleaner than this. Because we got to paint this thing. But we got a lot of cleaning to do. But we got a lot done tonight. And I'm happy with where we're at. All the things are off that need to come off. Oh, and if you look in here, my brother pointed this out. I never even noticed this. Because, you know, I just took it off. But it's got little hairline cracks in it. If you can see those, and they're all the way around. And I'll show you when I get it out because that's obviously got to get replaced. We're too far in now to throw broken parts back in the truck. Man, I'm excited to get this thing painted. I already got the water pump pulley gasket, I think. Or no, it's oil pan gasket, the link, this chain link here. And then the chain link, the timing chain. And then I got another gasket, I think for this is what I got coming. And we're gonna mash up all the parts before I even put them up to make sure that they are the right parts. So whenever we go put this thing together later on, I don't have a part sitting over here for it. Maybe another year before I actually put the stuff together. I don't have a part over here that was a year ago and then it not be the right part and then it's too late to return it. If you guys catch my drift. Man, my hair looks goofy. We'll be getting this kind of haircut again. I look like a like I got a helmet on my head or something. Anyways, we got the garage all nice and cleaned last night. I came out here and cleaned it. Uh, I'm trying to take a couple days off in between because I am caught up on videos, so that's nice. Uh, we're gonna end this video with finishing up this frame paint work and probably that's probably gonna be it to be honest. And then next week, we're gonna try, I said try, to get this block painted. That is next week's task. I hope. I hope it gets done. Well, I just got rudely interrupted by Catboy. Heard something meowing outside. It honestly sounded like a kid was crying. I thought my son was out the back door crying, but he wasn't. It was actually Catboy crying. What do you want, Catboy? I can't help you with that. Sorry. Look at this nice floor plan. Nice and clean. Got all my junk up here. I don't know, I may end up replacing all this stuff. But, I mean, I don't, it's honestly, some of the stuff's not, like the head bolts obviously are gonna get replaced. But the push rods and the rockers and the uh, lifters, I forgot what they were called for a second. Probably the lifters would need to be replaced, if anything, if out of all this stuff. And I've got a bolt bucket here. This are the bolts that I, they're just laying around that I'm not sure what they went to. 
so I'm throwing them in a bucket together. I still got to organize my sockets. Uh, oh, yeah, again, I'm show you these, these to you guys. We got some new cars to hang up. I'm a sucker for die cast cars, if you guys can't tell. I do have quite a bunch of stuff in here. To you, it might not look like a lot, or to me, it doesn't look like a lot, but it may look like a lot to you guys. I feel like I could have a lot more on this wall, but I don't want to cover up all my signatures that all my friends and family and people have signed on this wall. I don't know why I still have this water pump sitting here and I'm wearing my wife's shoes again. Can't help it. These things are comfortable. I need to get myself some. But I got a lot of die cast cars, even the big ones up on top. Got a lot of junk in here. I'll show you the other one real quick. Bam. Now this one my son did kind of destroy a little bit, trying to open it. You know, one day they'll get all this stuff, but for right now I want it to hang in my garage. And believe me, they have plenty of toys. And here's the old step side. If we ever paint this truck, that's what's gonna go on it. Some kind of tannish color. This thing looks like a freaking gasser, doesn't it? That's gonna be a wrap for this week's video, you guys. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, we got the rest of the front of the truck painted. The frame's done. I'll show you here in a second. It's all nice and dry and stuff. Uh, next week, we'll be hopefully putting the freeze plugs in the block and painting the block. That's the goal of next week because we're going to start getting down to the budget videos of where I can afford like one or two parts a week. <laughs> it just is how it's going to have to be for a while. I got Christmas coming up. I'm going to get one or two parts a week that I can afford. And we're going to slowly build this block up over the winter. And hopefully by summertime or spring, whatever next after winter, I think, yeah, it's spring. Hopefully we get this truck back on the road by then, but we'll just have to see. But with all that being said, uh, follow me on Instagram, you guys, that help me out so you can see stuff before it gets on the channel. Uh, let me know about a P.O. box. I'm still in the air about that. If I set one up, would you guys be interested in sending me things? I'm not asking for, like, expensive tools or stuff like that. I'm talking about just fan mail. That's all I'm talking about. Or maybe, like, you guys... You, you got these extra parts sitting, sitting around and stuff like that. You could help me out and send them over to me and stuff. That is what I mean by a, a P.O. box. I don't want you to send me out money or stuff like that. Don't get me wrong. I'm not, I'm not asking for a handout. I'm just, if you guys have interested in fan mail, that's about it. Um, I'm trying to think of anything else to say while I'm here because I know after I'm editing this, I'll think about it then, and then it's too late at that point. Uh, hmm. I think that is it front of the trucks painted yeah uh if you guys enjoyed please like the video share the video to maybe your friend or something that you think would like to watch this video <laughs> i don't know um just keep coming back to me and keep pushing me to do better we're almost at 850 subscribers we're like we're literally one away right now we was there then we lost one it's okay we'll, we'll gain some we'll lose some that's just how it goes we're on our way to a thousand subscribers and I am very excited. We're on the path. We're on the path. Uh, stay tuned to the next week's video, you guys. Hopefully we'll be getting the block painted. That is my goal of next week. It's not a big goal, but it's a goal. At least if we get the block painted, maybe the oil pan and then start working on these brackets and stuff of what we're gonna put back on the motor. We know what we need to get painted like the Fender liners, the metal liners, the radio support, all that junk. Uh, I'm going to stop rambling on. Hope you guys enjoyed. I hope I'm doing good on editing. I know last video I did a clip right, at, right in the beginning of where it was just in my face like this. No, you just seen it again. So <laughs> it was me of just dropping the camera or something, trying to get it set up. Yeah, it happens. I'm not a professional. This isn't uh, Sony Pictures or Sony Videos or whatever it's called. I'm a dude in my garage at nighttime trying to make stuff happen. I will see you all in the next one. Keep it easy. Chill out. Don't get too hot. Get out in the garage. Spend 30 minutes on your project. It'll You'll be happier the next day when you do it. I promise you. So get up and get something done. That's all I can say. And I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out.